y equals mx plus b, how it came to be and what it means to me. When you first learned graphing, you set up x, y tables with at least three points and plotted them on your graph. This was a little time consuming. A shorter way to graph a line is to use the slope and the y-intercept given in the equation. The standard form of an equation is y equals mx plus b. m is your slope and b is your y-intercept. The key things to pay attention to in these equations are m and b. b is the y-intercept. This is the point where the graph crosses the y-axis. Our vertical line running through the middle of our graph is the y-axis. The horizontal line running across the graph is your x-axis. The exact point where your graph crosses the y-axis is called your y-intercept. That's also known as your b. m is described as rise over run. Rise tells you how far up and down on your graph you're going to move and run tells you how far left and right. Let's take a look at an equation. The first equation we're going to graph is y equals one-third x plus four. To graph this equation, we need to plot our y-intercept. Our y-intercept is four, which means we moved up our graph four spaces from the center. Starting here at the center, we're going to move up one, two, three, four spaces until we hit four on our graph. We've now plotted our y-intercept. Now that we have one point on our graph, we can use our slope to plot as many points as we want. Remember our slope of one-third? This is going to tell us how to get any of the points we want. Let's take a look at what our slope of one-third tells us. Our slope of one-third tells us that we're going to go up one point on our graph and over to the right three to get to the next point. One in the top of our fraction, also known as the numerator, tells us about the rise. Rise means up and down. The three in the denominator tells us that we're going to move three places to the right. So let's take a look at our slope of one-third. Remember, we're going to move up from our green dot one space and over to the right three. One, two, three. This will be our new point. We'll do it again to move our graph up in the same direction. We'll move up one over three. One, two, three. We won't want to always move our graph in the right direction. We'll also want to move it toward the left. What we know about our fraction, one-third, is that it also equals negative one over negative three. What this tells us is that from our starting point, our y-intercept, we can move down one and to the left three. So let's start again from our y-intercept of 4 and move down and to the left to find some other points in our graph. Starting from the center, we'll move down 1. We'll go over to the left 3. 1, 2, 3. We can do this again to plot another point. We'll move down 1 and to the left 3. 1, 2, 3. Now that we have all the points in our graph, we can draw our line and complete our picture. Congratulations! You just graphed the equation y equals one-third x plus four. Now let's take a look at another equation. y equals negative three x minus five. Looking at our equation, we know that our y-intercept is negative 5. We'll plot negative 5 on our axis at the bottom. We'll move down from the center. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1. What we do know 
is that negative 3 is the same thing as negative 3 over 1. Negative 3 over 1 tells us that we move down 3 spaces into the right one. Since the 3 is negative, it tells us to move down. Since the 1 is positive, it tells us to move to the right. We also, we also know that negative 3 over 1 is the same thing as positive 3 over negative 1. That will tell us to move up 3 into the left 1. Let's start with the first way we looked at our slope which was negative 3 over 1. If we started our y-intercept of negative 5, we can move down 3 spaces, 1, 2, 3, and to the right, 1. This is our new point. If we take a look at the slope the other way, we can start at our y-intercept again and move up 3 spaces, 1, 2, 3, and to the left, 1. We didn't have enough space at the bottom to do it again. We can make another line, another point from this stage. Yeah, don't even. We didn't have enough space on our graph to make another point down, but we can go back and make another point up. So we'll move again from our last spot, up three, one, two, three, and to the left one. Now we have plenty of points on our line that we can graph. Let's connect all these dots. Congratulations again. You just graphed the equation of y equals negative 3x minus 5.